Hey everybody, it's the doll boy and today I'll show you how Ariana's ladies and I created this rainbow doll. This doll actually is the second time we collaborated since we also made a Gamora doll together as well. I will link that video in the iCard and the description box as well, so make sure to check out that video if you're interested. For this doll, we took a lot of inspiration from rainbow looks. For the hair, I really wanted to do my take on a hidden rainbow hairstyle. This does resemble the rainbow Barbie quite a bit, but I really wanted to do it my way, having the rainbow blend in with the rest of the hair a lot more. As a base, we decided to use Wonder Woman from DC Superhero Girls. Since I recently got that doll, and I didn't like her original face and hair that much anyways, but I really love the face and body shape. To start the reroute, as always, I begin by cutting the original hair as short as possible. Then I dip the head in boiling water to soften the plastic, which makes it easier to detach the head from the body. And I remove the leftover hair by scraping the inside of the head with tweezers, and then pulling it out through the neck hole. When the entire head is bald, I went on to paint the scalp, because the new colors are really different than the black color of her scalp. So if I do some hairstyles, I don't want the black showing through. That's why I mix some black and white together, and I start painting the top of the head. And the rest of the hairline as well. Then I also draw a line from ear to ear, and I will leave the rest untouched. That part is where I'm gonna add the rainbow hair. To make sure the full rainbow isn't only visible from the back, Ariana and I decided it would be really cool to do a double rainbow, keeping the color symmetrical on both sides. In the middle back, I draw a line of purple, followed by blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. I decided to have these two rainbows split up to make sure there's also color above her ear. And if I want to create a half updo, this row of grey will ensure that the bottom part will not only be rainbow hair. As you can see, the doll has a side part, so this rainbow part will be covered with a lot more grey hair than the rainbow on the other side. To even that out, I create another row of rainbow hair closer to the part. Because this is just a small row, I'm not doing the double rainbow here, but I'm simply doing red to purple. I'm also staying away a little bit from the hairline to make sure the base of the hairstyle stays silver. And then something terrible happened. While traveling, the doll head made contact with the bag of reroot hair that had the colors written on it in permanent marker. The marker rubbed off on her face and there was no way for me to remove it. So I went to the store to get a new one, but all the Wonder Woman faces already had dye and glue stains on them. So I decided to replace the Wonder Woman with a Supergirl doll. That also meant I had to redo the entire process. So I cut off all the hair and removed the leftovers. Because of the way this doll was rooted, her scalp actually had some holes in the part line. To fix this, I took some super glue and carefully glued the holes closed. This will make sure the head is usable, but to stay safe, I am moving the part to the other side. So again, I'm mixing grey paint and paint the scalp. As you can see, I'm doing the exact same thing like I did on Wonder Woman. And then, when the paint dried, it was finally time to start the reroute. To make the process easier for me, I like to lay out a bunch of strands before actually pushing them into the head. I started by rooting all the silver hair, giving her that new part line that I already painted in white as a guide. As always, I prefer to start working on the hairline and the part. 
if you want to see a more detailed explanation on how I easily create a part line from scratch, you can see my separate tutorial for that. And then I just fill up all the grey parts of the reroute. This is also why it was really helpful for me to paint the scalp first, because I knew exactly where I wanted each color to go. And then for the rainbow parts, I received this amazing package from Custom Doll Hair, who sells this amazing rainbow pack of hair on their Etsy page. The hair is really good quality and the colors are stunning together. In the rainbow pack, you get 15 grams of Siren Red, Atomic Orange, Dandelion, Bring Green, Sky Blue, and Aubergine. Because I'm only doing a couple rows of rainbow hair, I'm not gonna have to use all this hair. So I separate a section of each color and start rerouting the little blocks that I've painted in each color. To keep things neat during the process, I rooted one color at a time in all the places I wanted to have that specific color. I also tried to count how many strands I use for each color on each side of the head to keep the hairstyle somewhat symmetrical. To be honest, this reroute process might be the most satisfying reroute I've ever done, because I just love seeing how each color adds to the rainbow effect. And sped up, like in this video, I think it looks really cool seeing it all come together. Then, like with all my reroutes, I secure the hair in place using my Fabri-Tac glue. Using a Q-tip to spread out the glue evenly inside of the head. Then when the glue has dried overnight, I put the hat back on the body and boil wash the hair. For the haircut, I wanted to keep the hair long with some added layers throughout the hair. And the hair is done! Before sending the doll to Ariana's Ladies 328, I did make sure to wrap the hair in straws to give her some temporary curls once Ariana is done with the face up. Before starting on the new face, Ariana already removed the original face paint. To create an icy blue iris, she used a Prismacolor pencil and sketches out where she wants the irises to go. Then she fills up the white parts in the first layer to be able to have a good color buildup in the next layers. Then she goes in with a more gray color called Cloud Blue and fills in the irises, blending the grey and the dark blue outline together. Then she also added this dark blue color to solidify the line of the iris a little more. For the eyebrows, she used this light brown Durban color Burnt Earth and draws individual hairs in the shape of the eyebrow. Then she fills in the base of the lip with the first layer of pink as well. We decided to give her some really cool rainbow eyeshadow. So she is doing the brighter colors in the inside of the lid, going from green and yellow in the inside, fading to a red and purple in the outer corners. Going from a lighter color on the inside to darker shades in the outside, really make the eyes pop. To build up the colors and make it really pigmented, Ariana worked in several layers, spraying the face with Mr. Super Clear in between those layers. After building up the colors in several layers, she goes in to draw the eyelashes. I'm still so amazed about how pretty these eyelashes look and how detailed they make the face look. And then I finally received this package from Ariana. As soon as I opened up the package, I noticed there wasn't just this rainbow doll, so I decided to turn on the camera and take a look at all of these surprises together.
First, I found this really cute card that she wrote me. And then I saw this doll that I did not recognize. Oh, wow! Oh! Oh my god! The face Ariana gave her is insanely gorgeous. She's wearing a really cool t-shirt dress. And she is on a curvy, made-to-move body. I'm so extremely excited about it, since I've never seen a curvy made-to-move in my life. There are some outfits as well that will look really cute on the dolls. These bodysuits will be so cute for the rainbow doll. And there are these super cool flower leggings as well. And then there's this colorful polka dot top. And Ariana even sent me this bag with extra accessories. And then I found even more outfits. I think Ariana and I actually discussed this outfit and how much I love this one. So thank you so so much for sending me this. And there's also this other doll that she repainted for me. That actually was my very first doll reroute I ever did. So it really means a lot to me that she repainted this one for me because I tried repainting her a couple of times and totally ruined her face. So I'm so happy that she finally has the nice face she deserves. And then for the final reveal, there's the rainbow reroute. Her face looks so incredible with this amazing eyeshadow and she even has glitter in her eyes. Then to finish this project completely, I asked my sister to create a watercolor background using Arteza watercolor paint to give me a great rainbow background for doll photography. I will upload a full video about doll backgrounds as well, so stay tuned for that. I really hope you liked this customization. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to check out Ariana's Ladies 328 and myself at the Doll Boy on Instagram to see more pictures of our custom dolls. See you next time!